What's going on, everybody? Welcome to Always Occupied, home and product reviews. We went on Amazon and got ourselves some brake pads. Now, I switched it up a little bit this time. These are Max Advanced Brakes. Got it from Amazon. I'll post their name, I'll post their business, and all that stuff. Now, they come in a little rough right here, but I'm not going to blame them because somebody else could have mistreated the packaging like that, so. Let's go ahead. I got brake rotors right here. These should be the pads. I just want to show y'all what they look like. And hopefully this don't rust as much as my other ones. These also have the holes in them so it can uh, dissipate the heat. That's what the engineers say. It's because your engineer don't mean nothing. Make sure it looks good. If it don't look good, we might have to return. I don't see no scratches, no nothing. It's nice coated black. Looks very nice. Packaged very well. Let's check this one out. Watch your hands. Man, these look good. Love the way they look. Looking on the inside. Now, I don't know how much coating of black is on here, but as you can see right here, we have a little bit of silver right there. I'm not gonna complain too much about it. Got two marks right there. Uh, by the time I'm done with it, it'll probably be a whole bunch of marks. This is for my Mercury Sable. I'll show you the packaging right here. Made in China. They on Facebook, uh, Twitter, Google Plus, if that still exists, Instagram, and uh, I believe that's Pinterest. Max, Advanced Breaks, blah, blah, blah. That's the number. Once again, they have a website, but I got mine from Amazon. Oh, they double boxed this one. A little bit bigger. And they heavier. Yeah, this is the front brakes. All right, so the front brakes, you get the space in between right there. This is definitely the rear brake right here. I know that already because I installed my older brakes and this is what they look like. So this is definitely the front brake and this looks blacker than this. These look, this looks a little bit better. They don't have like dots or specks or nothing on the plate. This one, you can see like little specks right here. You see the little dots and specks. These front brakes look very nice. Man, can't wait. Can't wait, you guys, I can't wait. Uh, hey, I might install this next weekend. All right, same thing with this. Nice, nothing. Okay, look like we might have a little, a little nick there, but once again, I'm not gonna complain about that. Once I hit the brakes on this 50,000 million times, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be scratched everywhere. All right, so those are the two front rotors, two rear rotors, front rotor. We have a rear rotor, very light. Well, not very light, way lighter than this one. You also get brake pads with it. I think the rear was 80 bucks or something like that that comes with the pads. I think the front uh, rotors was 100 and something and also came with the pads. Let's see if all four pads are compatible. And these are my brake pads. It sure is. I didn't really look to see if this was ceramic. So I zoomed in, y'all can read it for yourselves. Okay, they gave us clips. Dang, I had y'all back out. <laughs> Sorry, so <laughs> we got clips, we got lubrication, and we have the pads. All right, you guys, so that is the unboxing of these brakes, uh, pads, the brake rotors. I am excited, I'm ready to get my brakes done. I actually wanna do it as soon as possible now, because I'm excited that this stuff is in. Close to $40 a rotor. That's almost the average price. So I just figured I wanna try something different. So let's see how these black rotors will last us. All right, you guys, stay tuned. Like, comment, subscribe, and you will see me install these in the next week or two. All right, you guys, so we took the caliper off. We have it hanging on electrical wire, and we have the new rotors, you guys. We have the new rotors. Oh, it feels so good. It feels so good. I don't want it to even get scratched, but it has to get scratched. Here goes the new brake pads. All right, so easy. Out with the old rotor, in with the new. Last time I really changed my rotors was at least 
seven years ago. So this is this is light. Like I'm holding it right now, and I am not feeling no heaviness to it. Now, for y'all out there, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. And I know some of y'all out there spray brick cleaner on it. So let me go ahead and spray some brick cleaner on it. So that way the angry people out there don't get mad at me. So that's about it. If you have any other questions, comments, concerns, let me know. Uh, I'll give y'all an update. Well, I'll probably do it on the same video anyway. So let me drive the car for at least, I don't know, a couple of days. Let you know how it sounds, uh, how the brakes work out. If you ask me a question, am I going to bleed my brakes? I probably am going to bleed my brakes. I probably do it. Uh, I might do it later on tomorrow, probably. So, yeah. I bleed the brakes every once in a while, so just to just do it. But anyways, this is all blah, blah, blah. All right, you guys, got everything going on this side. And as I was doing some inspection, you can see my link right there is broke. I was wondering why all that sound was going on while I was going up and down on bumps. That's Maryland Rose for you. There goes our taxes to fix the potholes. <laughs> Oh, now I gotta buy some links. Oh, it's always something. Might be like $20 or something like that, but I'll get back with y'all. All right, you guys, so it has been a week now and the brakes are still good. I don't get no squeaking, no nothing with these brakes. The pads are on, everything is well. All right, hit it to the back. And the back brakes are working very well. We put our new calipers on. The back caliper, brand new. Well, not brand new, but remanufactured the other caliper seized on me the one on the driver's side seized on me too once again this has been a week car is riding good no more wobbling so got rid of those warped rotors yeah i have no no problems it breaks good well 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 you guys so it did rain yesterday i drove in the rain and as you can see rust already right at least i think that's rust on the rotors what it look like to y'all all right let me go to the back look like rust to me i'm about to go to the post office this is the rear right here caliper already rusted well we got rust spots i'm about to drive it come back home maybe it'll take me like 30 minutes so let's see how it looks after i'm done driving this is right after the rust or i guess the specs are rust i don't know what the heck that stuff was all right maybe it was aftermath of the rain or whatever but um after i drove it hit the brakes all that stuff went away all right this is the front driver over here we have the rear driver those are my remanufactured calipers and look how it turned out you know i'm gonna have to paint that anyways so yeah everything worked out right there all right you guys so any other questions comments concerns uh, put it in the comment section and I'll get back with y'all as soon as possible But these brakes actually work pretty good and I am satisfied like comment and subscribe You better delete that whole conversation. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. If I hear my voice on there, you gonna get it. Okay